Hello, my name is uh, Céline Verleur. I'm uh, French, I'm a uh, Parisian. And uh, I just launched uh, last week uh, my new perfumes brand. It's called uh, Olfactive Studio. And uh, I launched three new fragrances. And uh, it's, a, it's a dream uh, who became true because uh, I've been um, dreaming of uh, creating my own brand for more than 20 years. Um, I used to work for Kenzo Perfumes. Uh, it was uh, 15 years ago and I was doing their marketing and I, and I loved to, to work with perfumers and to create perfumes like Clopa Kenzo or Kenzo Jangle and um, it's even more exciting when you're doing it for you for yourself and your brand so this time it was really great to work with the, the perfumers from uh, Fiumaniche and uh, Roberté and uh, to create uh, perfumes without limits so um, I had the idea of, um, of creating this brand uh, uh, by launching a, a blog at the, at the beginning because uh, I thought that it would be interesting to involve the, 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 the people following the blog uh, uh, into the creation. So what I did is I, I created a blog called uh, the, the blog of the perfume which does not exist yet. And uh, I decided to create it on Facebook because it, I thought it was more interactive. There are more uh, feedbacks from uh, people uh, on Facebook. So I created it at the end of 2009, uh, almost 18 months ago. And uh, from the beginning, it was a success. Uh, many people wanted to know how, how to create a perfume and they wanted to participate in the creation of a, of a perfume. Not only people passionate with perfume, but also people who are, who are just curious about it. So um, they, they all said, oh wow, great, I want to participate, I want to know more about perfumes. So the idea was good and after a few months, like 300 followers, and uh, I had an article in the magazine Elle in France and I said, wow, if Elle is giving me an article after a few months, it could be a success to launch it uh, with this blog. And then the first idea was um, to define uh, the concept of the brand. So I, I proposed two concepts, um, two different concepts. The first one was uh, called Unique, Unique Fragrances. The idea was to uh, mix some Accor and, uh, and to uh, make a unique perfume so that everybody could have a unique perfume. So that was the first concept. And the second one uh, was Olfactive Studio, which is the one that we selected. And our fact is studio is all about uh, about photography and perfumes, about photography inspiring the creation of perfumes. And uh, from the beginning, I thought that uh, photography could be a good inspiration because I love photographers. I have some at home. I have a small collection, a small uh, collection of, uh, of photographies, and I think it's really the art of the. 21st century. So I thought that choosing photographers and giving them to the perfumers would be a new way to give a brief to the perfumers. Usually when you see a perfumer, you say them a few words about who will be the woman or the man who will uh, use this perfume. And uh, it's always the same brief. It's all, and then it's always the same perfume. So I thought it would be interesting to do it in totally different way and also photography and the artistic photography is a nice way of having a different visual for the for the fragrance as an advertising because all the, the fragrances advertising what I think is that they all look the same and I wanted to have something totally different and choosing artistic photography was a way of having a totally different image for my perfume. So I will show you my, now um, the, the three photographies and uh, maybe also the, the final result. But uh, this concept was totally uh, approved by all the followers from the beginning and we made a vote and we decided that it would be the concept. And uh, after we tried we started brainstorming about the, the, the perfume's names uh, in relation with the photography. And it was very easy because I think the concept is interesting. So when you have a good concept, then it's easy to find names, um, interesting names, different names, because it's hard also to, to register new names in a, 
in the, for fragrances because they are all they are all uh, already registered by um, big brands. So um, with this new concept, totally different, the names were available. So that's how we created auto portrait, which means uh, self portrait in English. We created uh, chambre noire. Uh, the translation is dark room. And the third one is in English, it's still life, which is in French, uh, nature morte. So three names totally related to photography. And, uh, and uh, you can check on Facebook, but there are a lot of them that uh, the followers gave as names for the future launches. So it's very rich and uh, I'm really happy with, uh, with the concept. So this coffret, this box is a collector's box, box and it's also the press. So we have the press file, we'll look at it afterwards, and, uh, and the products, the free fragrances. So maybe I will show you first the packaging. The packaging is like a photo box, um, and you can see that the, the, the photo inspired the fragrance is on the box. So you can choose your, your fragrance by choosing the, the, um, the picture that you like the most. And you open, the, you open the box. Really, as a paper, photo paper box. And then you find the photo with a professional uh, photo, which is signed by the photographer. So this is the first picture, uh, a photo by Luc Lapotre, and uh, I really love this picture because it's really original. Um, it's not. Um, classical uh, self-portrait. It's really different. And as our perfumes are unisex for both women and men, I didn't want to have a, a picture of a woman or a picture of a man. So this is really different. So now you can you discover the, the bottle and uh, the bottle is really in a, in a photo uh, box. Uh, and we, when you have the bottle, um, you see it's very simple, um, very square. It looks like a Polaroid uh, in a way. And uh, you can see that the, the, the name is written uh, by hand uh, on the label, just like a scotch um, that uh, the photographers are using, which is called gaffer in, uh, in French. And, um, and there are some more details which I love, like the color, which is the color of the old pictures you find and also the cap and the cap is uh, i designed it uh, and it was approved by the followers on facebook but i designed it and the idea is to look like a, a zoom on the camera so you you see the top like a zoom and also how it's written the name of the brand around it <coughs> so this is the um, the bottle and uh, the bottle of auto portrait now I will show you the two tiny ones because uh, we have a small and a, and a big bottle and this, this one is a small one. Uh, I like it also because it's, it's uh, smaller, it's, maybe it's more feminine. And so this is the bottle for still life uh, with a color which is uh, adapted to the fragrance, you will see. And, um, and this is the bottle of uh, Chambre Noire, dark room, with a darker color also. So if you look at the, at, at the photography in, uh, in the press file, I will show it to you. So this one is a photography for autoportrait, as we saw before. This one is the photography for Chambre Noire. So when I said to this photographer, Clémence René Bazin, who is a French woman uh, living in Paris, and, uh, she used to work with uh, Raymond de Pardon, which is a famous photographer in Paris. And uh, she's working a lot in uh, white and, and black. And when I said to her, Chambre Noire, dark room, she, she told me, I have the picture you're, you're looking for. And it was this picture, it was uh, done in, uh, in Cairo, in Egypt, uh, in a Hilton uh, hotel room. And uh, I think it looked like, uh, like an old uh, 
movie in black and white and uh, uh, it's just like you, you could see a couple entering the room or uh, in the room so it's very mysterious and uh, very interesting I think so th this is for Chambre Noir and the last one it's quite different it's for still life still life in French is um, dead then dead life and uh, I prefer the the name life as uh, as the word death. So what I asked to the photographer is to propose a picture um, that would be a little bit disco, a little bit, a little bit staying alive. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's um, he's a well-known photographer called uh, Frédéric Lebain, also Parisian, like me. <laughs> and he's uh, he's doing a lot of uh, photography within the photography. So. As you can see here, there are two photographers. Two photographers, yeah, two photographers. And, um, and it just looked like after the party, after partying. Um, and uh, it was a great inspiration for the fragrance, which is a cocktail. A cocktail of, uh, of rum, dark rum and uh, yuzu, the Japanese and lemon, lime. So this is the third picture. And all the pictures are on the packaging and inside the box. So um, I think it's, um, it's really part of the concept. And for the next, uh, the next perfumes to come, I will choose a new photographer each time, and uh, and again a new a new perfumer, and uh, and give the photographs to the to the perfumer. So it's endless. I would like now to present you the fragrances. Um, what I have asked the perfumers is um, really no limit, no limit on the quality of the raw materials and no, no limit on the creation itself. So I was not too precise about what I wanted. I only said that I wanted unisex fragrances and that I especially liked uh, woody, spicy fragrances more than uh, flowery or fruity or so um, with this brief of unisex and uh, the perfume I love um, they, they presented me more than 35 different uh, compositions different fragrances and then I had to choose which one we, we would launch and the first one autoportrait is really intimate and really profound it's a perfume you're using for yourself not for everybody and it's a woody and um, uh, with uh, cedarwood and vetiver and a lot of resins. So you have benzoin, incense and musk. And uh, it's really very elegant, very discreet but very elegant. And it's an haute parfum, which means it's really concentrated, it's 15% uh, concentration. So very nice raw materials with a very high concentration. That's really key in, the, in this new brand. Let's now discover the second one. The second one is uh, Still Life. And as I said before, Still Life is a cocktail. So it's really festive and sparkling. So it's uh, very concentrating also. It's uh, 18%. It was done by Dora Arnaud at Firmenich. And it's a cocktail of dark rum, yuzu, uh, Japanese lime, and also some green notes like uh, anise and uh, galbanum. And uh, base notes are made of ombrox, cedarwood, and the dark rum. So it's uh, a very nice contrast in, uh, between the freshness of the lime and the uh, I would, uh, comfortable base notes. Now, Chambre Noir. <laughs> Chambre Noir is the, obviously the most oriental one. It's still a woody and spicy, but in a very different way. It's centered um, on leather, leather with prune and with patchouli. Patchouli being one of the key elements of oriental perfumes. But it's done in a very modern way, so it's a really totally new oriental um, fragrance and it's very nice on uh, women's skins and men's skin at, at the same time.